Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we will study about finding the duplicates and then storing the entire duplicate and the non-duplicate data into the target. The target in our case, we will take as SQL database. So in the previous video, we have already studied how to find the duplicates and the occurrence of the duplicacy. So here was the previous video sample input and the output data set where we have found out the orders which are having the count greater than one okay and the occurrence so they occur twice and similarly for the other records we could get the occurrence the duplicacy and the duplicate occurrence and similarly we landed the non-duplicate records which were present in the input data set now in this video we will take the entire data set output of the duplicates and the non-duplicates and we will store the data into the target tables okay along with all the columns in the previous video we have simply stored the order ids in the count and here we will take the entire data okay so the data set we have used in the input is the same as the previous video and the query here uh, with respect to the sql will be to select all the columns which we want to display and then the same logic using the aggregate function count okay from the table grouping by will be on all the columns okay and using the having clause we will apply the condition of count of the order id greater than one if it is greater than one it is duplicate and if it if the count is equals to one here it will be non dupes so how we will tackle this scenario in data factory mapping data flow activity we will demonstrate now so let's go to the data factory and we'll create a pipeline so let's create a pipeline we will name the pipeline as pipeline for dupes non dupes okay next we will take the data flow activity in the canvas and in the canvas and we'll create a new data flow which will be named as data flow for dupes and non dupes and then we will connect the source so the source data the same data set is already present in my storage gen2 account inside the test input folder as dupes input.csv so the same source we are going to use in this example also so we'll add the source let's connect as a different data set let's connect to the source it's inside the gen2 as a delimited text we'll name it as dupes known dupes input link service is already there We'll go to the file path. It's inside the test input folder as dupes input.csv. First row has header, port schema none. Click OK. So we'll go to the data preview and first enable the data flow debug option. Click OK. Once the data flow debug option is enabled, we can preview the data over here. So let's refresh since the data flow debug is enabled. So the data appeared here. Let's go to the projection tab and we'll import the projection. So the projection is imported with the data types. Next, we'll go and add the aggregate transformation. As we did in the previous example of finding the duplicates, the same logic we'll apply. We will take the aggregate transformation, which comes under the schema modifier section as aggregate. Okay. Now, if we go back to the data set, what we have to do, we have to perform a group by, okay, and then we have to aggregate, okay. So group by will be, in group by we'll take all the columns this time, because in the output we want to display all the columns, okay. So in the aggregate transformation configuration, we'll take the first column, then with the help of this plus sign, we can enable the other columns. So let's add one by one 
all the columns. Let's add the fourth column. So we have in total five columns. Next add the fifth column and the last column. So this is done. In the group by we have added all the columns. Next we'll go to the aggregates and the aggregates we can see that group by is done on all these columns. So same as we have to do in the SQL. Next we have this aggregate function count. So in the aggregates we will add the column name let's say count and in the expression we will use the count function function count click enter and then in the expression we will use the order id so click save and finish so this is done the setting is done next we'll go to the data preview of the aggregate transformation and click on refresh this time we'll get all the columns from the input data set along with the extra column count which we have defined using the count function okay so this has given the occurrence for the duplicates two and for the non duplicates one next our task is to split these on the basis of the duplicacy and the non duplicacy so we will use the conditional split transformation which comes under the multiple inputs output section so use conditional split and in the stream names we will name first for the duplicates in the condition for the duplicates we will mention the count which is coming from the previous stream if the count is greater than 1 it is duplicate save and fin finish next is non duplicates the rows which do not meet any condition will go to this output stream so count is equals to 1 will be by default going into this stream so if we are not using conditional split we are using filter and we are not interested in getting the duplicates we are only interested in getting the non duplicate records then we can go simply use filter transformation and write the logic as count is equals to 1 count equal equals to 1 and then we can get the non duplicate records so here in this example we are interested to get the duplicates as well as non duplicates hence we have used conditional split transformation let's go to the data preview and click on refresh so the data has appeared since we have defined in the conditional split settings two stream names duplicates and non-duplicates in the data preview we can see the output stream first as duplicates which is showing us the data or the rows which are having count as two and in the non-duplicates we could clearly see all the columns along with this count equals to one next our last task is to add the sink so let's connect it to the sink so the sync here, we will land it into the SQL database. We'll name this time non duplicates output link service already there. We'll create a new table DB O non duplicates output out put okay the table name we have given click ok similarly we'll add another sync and connect to the data set sql database as duplicate output we'll copy this name and we'll make the table with the same name so the schema same and the table duplicate output click OK okay so we have made okay so here we have made a mistake because the first the stream is duplicate so we should give the name here as duplicate so let's change here the data set okay so let's select Here, which we have created as duplicate output and here since the stream is non-duplicates we will select 
the non duplicates so this is the output so we have switched the output okay next we'll go to the duplicate sync and in the data preview we'll refresh so here upon refreshing we could see that the data has appeared okay desired data has appeared along with the count column so we are not interested in seeing this count column which is coming as extra because we want simply the the data which is coming from the source okay so here in data factory we have a transformation named as select which we will add just after this duplicate or the conditional split okay so we'll use the select schema under the schema modifier section select and with the help of select we will remove this extra column so go at the last and here you could clearly see the count column and the delete button over here so remove this mapping so what happens is that if you go to the data preview you can see that the count column will be removed so we have got the required columns not the count column similarly in the non duplicate string we will add the same select transformation and we will delete the count column so this is done next we will validate the mapping the mapping is complete now we have attached the sync also so what we did we aggregated in the aggregate set settings we have configured all the columns in the group by then applied the count logic and then the conditional split to calculate the dupes and the non dupes and then the select transformation to remove the extra column and then at last we have the sync we'll go to the pipeline now and we'll first publish all the changes and then we'll perform a debug run So the data run or the data flow is in progress. Once this completes, we could see in the database our tables. So let's go to the database. So here is the database. We'll go to the query editor and we'll try to log in. So we are logged in. Let's go to the data flow to check if it is completed. So this is succeeded. Next, we'll go to the database and under the table section. we'll search for the table names so we have named the table as duplicate output so we'll select the top rows and the non duplicates output select the rows okay so we'll first see the duplicates so we could see all the five desired columns which were having the duplicates and the two rows okay next we'll go to the query 3 where we have the non duplicates output we have the non duplicates output here So we have got the three rows for the non dupes same and two rows for the duplicates with IDs 210248 and 10251 so we have got the desired result we have accomplished the task of finding the duplicates and fetching all the columns from the input data set filtering them on the basis of the count logic to find the duplicates and then landing them into the different targets so here in a way we have removed the duplicates we have removed the duplicates landed them into a separate table and got the non duplicates records so the logic is where the count is 1 or where the count is not equals to uh, greater than 1 then that is our non duplicates i hope you have got the basic idea of the logic demonstrated today <coughs> and in sql we have other ways of finding the duplicacy through ct and then lattice functions we will demonstrate that too in the upcoming videos thank you for watching the video happy learning bye